I know when I first started doing CNC and making uh, the mounts for the X2, uh, this was one of the more intimidating parts of the whole conversion for me. Uh, so I thought I'd take a minute and just kind of go step by step in the process and how I go about making the motor mounts for the stepper motors. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to take the bolts loose and remove them out. Now the screw's out. Let me get a measurement on this screw just for sake of argument. Looks like 24 millimeters. 23.75. So that's a good size screw. We just have this and we can just make us a, a template of our hole locations. So what I'm going to do is just tape me up a, put me a sheet of paper up like so. Okay. Nothing real technical here. Then I'm just going to take a pencil. And this right here is also a pin for alignment. And that's it. Those really are the only three holes that I'm really concerned about and then these two pin holes. So once I have this, uh, then I can take this to Fusion 360 and start drawing up a mount. Alright, well we took our sketch here and I kind of tried to uh, take some measurements here and get it figured out. And now we'll go into Fusion 360 and draw it up. Okay, so I want to start with my X axis first. And what I want to do is basically disassemble this so that I can just make a template of where these locations are on both sides and then we can draw up some mounts so first we have a, we have a 17 millimeter nut on this side this is a uh, nylock type nut An easy way to get these keyways off is just take some diagonal pliers and kind of grip it and then just lift up and it'll come right out you can put it in there pull this washer off here put my camera stand in the way here okay Actually, that's my thrust bearing race. Okay, and then I want to just loosen up these uh, set screws here. 
I believe these are six millimeter. And we'll be using the same locations to bolt our new uh, mount. Okay, in order to get this off, <clears throat> it has two pins right here, two split pins, split roll pins. I'm just going to back this out. And you can take a block of wood and put it between the mount here, and when it hits the saddle, it'll force that off. So we just get a hammer and a screwdriver and just lightly see if we can pry this loose. Came right out. Try to keep all our bearings and stuff intact there. You can see it has real cheap thrust bearings in it. Uh, well, we can leave that on there for now. Get some paper towels and wipe this off. Get the grease off. Got some alcohol here. Just cleaning the Cleaning this off a little bit. Like so. Just put a piece of masking tape to hold it so it doesn't slide around on you. And then just like we did in the first grade, I'm just going to go around and scratch over this to find my locations of all my holes. Okay, and that pretty much does it. We have our tracing, we have our dimensions, and we'll just make and take measurements off of our uh, pattern here. Now this is our fixed, our floated end, excuse me. And remember these two center holes right here are pins. So that's a pin and that's a pin. And these other two, other four, are actually threaded. So now this that's the floated end. So now we just need to take it all apart and do our fixed end. So let me get set up. We'll put this back together on this side. And then we'll go over and disassemble the other side. Okay, so now we're on the fixed end. And it has a little bit different setup. It has a uh, Allen screw here. And 
and it has this like Lovejoy coupling. Okay, comes for comes off pretty easy. Again, we have this keyway. Grab some dikes. Lift that out. And then, again, take these mounts off. These are M6 socket head cap screw or socket head screws. Okay, you can take a board. in here and wheel this back up against the saddle that'll kind of free it up a little bit you see there it broke loose you can get it to push it right off okay and you can see that this side actually has no bearing at all. Interesting. Okay, so we'll just clean this up. Okay, so we got that all cleaned up, and I've taken my pattern, and I've just folded another crease on the other side, and I just want to tape that down so we can do a tracing on the uh, floated inside. Okay, so now we've got the tracing of this side. And again, we just mark these two holes as the pins, these two center holes. And the other four holes are for screws. And then this will be our stepper mount side. And I did two tracings because I don't know if both sides actually line up or not. Uh, in the factory, they probably put some kind of jig on there and drill these by hand. So, um, they may not have the jig, uh, they may not use the same jig for both sides, so it's good just to go ahead and make a pattern for both sides. So now we have our X mount table, and with this right here we can go ahead and Go to Fusion 360 and start drawing up our mounts. Okay, so I took our patterns and I just jotted down the measurements. 
uh, just took a ruler and measured everything and it does appear that they're fairly close I'm about 74 millimeters between these two holes on the stepper motor side and it looks like 73 on this side but we probably can go with 74 and be um, okay so now what I want to do is I just want to draw this up in Fusion 360 and uh, I also took and made a tracing of the top of my table and this tray and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that later so thanks for watching the video please feel free to comment if you have any questions thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe and most importantly be safe